Hey friends, CK Brooke here. I was just wanting to make this video to show you guys a really cool idea that I actually got from my Romance Writers of America conference last month from the romance author Alyssa Alexander. In the meeting, she gave me this wonderful idea, so I decided to go ahead and make one of my own. It is what she calls a series Bible. I like to call it a series binder. It's basically a way to organize your entire series into one handy resource. This is the series Bible or the series binder that I made for my Jordania series. So opening it up, right here I have saved the original notebook where it all happened. This was the original notebook where I outlined the entire novel from scratch when I was first inspired with the idea that day five years ago. So my first tab I have the Jordinia placeholder because then I have another one back here somewhere. And for the world of Jordinia, that kind of separates the, the main five books from the other two books in the spin-off series. The first tab I have underneath that is the map. So the setting, if you're not writing fantasy, then you can have setting or geography be your first tab. Since I'm writing fantasy, I'm using the maps that I originally created and then these digital designs were done by the very talented Lindsay Johnson, also an author for 4814 and a cover designer and graphic artist. So here I have the map I used for the first few books with my original rendering on the back just to kind of do a side by side and have both there. As the world expanded in further books, more maps were made, then this was an overall more of an expansion and again the originals on the back. So in this tab, in the settings tab, you could also store your research on the geography you're writing about, the setting, the time period, the era, things like that. The next thing I have is the family tree. When you write fantasy and it starts to span multi-generations, then you need something to keep track of. So I have my original on the front and back, and then I also had these digitally designed by Breakthrough Author, which is the sister company to 4814, and they can assist with all kinds of self-publishing needs. So I have both of my family trees here. And under that tab, again, if you're not writing multi-generational fantasy saga, then you could use that tab for things like character profiles. Like, <laughs> it almost reminds me of like the FBI where they have like the picture and like the eye color and the hair color and the bio and all that information. Since I'm finished writing the Jordania series, I don't need to go into that kind of detail and make up those character bios. But definitely having a family tree helps me keep track of things because if I want to expand on the series, then I, I need to remember everybody's ages and names and, and who's married to who and what. The next tab I have is plot. And again, this is something I've finished writing, so I don't have anything more to add to that. And a lot of that is actually in these separate notebooks in this binder. But I did save some of the original notes and pictures and things that I took just for posterity. So next I have my next sub tab, which is for the World of Jordania books. So this is for the spinoff. The Red Pearl, I have the original sketches and notes. There's a, a several pages is the original outline I hand wrote, tore out of a notebook to use in here. And I have the map for that. Suppose I could put this with the rest of the maps, but I wanted to keep things pertaining to each book together. And the original rendering on the back. And then in the next tab, I have the wrong prints. And again, a bunch of original notes in here. My drawings are like on the level of a third grader, so don't judge me. Some old notes that I had found, again, keeping for posterity. The fancy rendered map and the original on the back. So finally, in the very end here, I saved the original notebook where I did way more plotting and things like pronunciations and sketches and outlines. But anyway, rather than having all of this junk kind of lying around in a pile and when I need to access maps or family trees for reference, having to sift through boxes of random papers, this is a much handier way 
to organize the details about my series and to access those details when I need to for any kind of reference. Definitely going forward as I write new books and new series, I'm going to be creating a series binder. So anyway, I just thought that that was a really cool idea from Alyssa Alexander. Again, all the credit goes to her. Thanks for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and subscribe to my newsletter at ckbrook.com. Over and out.